Before bringing a new breed into your home, some of the most important questions you will ask yourself are probably things like, will this breed get along with my other dogs? Will it be good with my kids? What about my cat? If you have any of these questions about the French Bulldog, fear not, you are in the right place with this video. Welcome back to the Fenrir French Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you could ever want to know about the incredible little French Bulldog, then how you can become a high level canine leader that raises perfect French Bulldog companions. So if you love the little French Bulldog as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Frenchy video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we're going to talk all about how the Frenchie does with others, other dogs, kids or small animals. And we'll start off with how they get along with dogs that they live with. Now, these brave, charismatic, yet stubborn little breeds do do well with other dogs. The Frenchie was developed and refined to be a companion animal extraordinaire. Because of some very innovative breeding efforts, the Frenchie went from ancestors aggressive enough to challenge a bull and stubborn enough to cling to its nose until the bull submitted. Now, the French Bulldog is a pretty friendly breed and they tend to get on well with other dogs, regardless of that quite bloody history. Now, especially if that other dog is respectful. The Frenchie is a smaller breed, but don't tell them that as they don't really realize it. And if they feel threatened, they will try to defend themselves, regardless of the other dog's size. They also really, really like their food. And this can lead to some food aggression issues. They can also be same-sex intolerant. So if you are considering a Frenchie and already have a dog, it might be wise to bring in one that is a different gender to the dog that you already have. Now, Frenchies can be great with other dogs. Just watch out for signs of food aggression and consider genders. And socialization is critical for not only the Frenchie, but the other dogs that they live with as well. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. So then what about dogs that they don't live with? Well, all bulldogs can be leery of other canines that they don't know, and sometimes they can even be quite territorial. Just because the Frenchie is small does not always make it an exception. Starting socialization from a young age and practicing good introductions will help set this breed up for success long term. Now watch bigger dogs while around the Frenchie to make sure that it won't get hurt or feel like it needs to defend itself. Again, same sex intolerance does not just apply for dogs in the Frenchie's home, but also dogs that you might meet whilst out and about. Now, if these steps are taken to set the Frenchie up for success, this breed can be great with other dogs, even strange dogs. They are playful, friendly, and adaptable breed with a great sense of humor, which is sure to make them some quick canine friends wherever they go. Just make sure that you help them achieve that level of success as soon as you bring them into the home. Now, the Frenchie has no real issue with small animals. They tend to get on with them very well. The Frenchie is calm, dependable, and patient, so they can tolerate small animals just fine. However, early introductions and socialization are always recommended for the best and most stress-free results. So the French Bulldog can also be an excellent choice for households with children. Other children aren't ever usually a problem. However, the Frenchie can be a little bit spunky and it is a good idea to socialize them well with younger children again from the second you bring them home. They need to get used to some of the behavior younger children display that a dog might find annoying. But once they are acquainted and used to this odd behavior children can display, they really do shine. This breed can have almost endless patience with children and they really take them on as their own. Now, with children outside of your home that don't live with you, they can also do well as long as, again, they are set up for success and know what to expect. If they are, they can succeed with flying colours. The French Bulldog is adaptable, so as long as that they can get their bearings, they tend to just go with the flow. Plus, their friendliness and playfulness do really lend themselves well to success with kids. We just absolutely must set them up for that success. 
Now, I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we've got two dedicated French Bulldog videos coming here to this channel every single week. I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir 